Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new 2015 2-pack Lost in the Desert Van and Mini. Um, this is I'm pretty sure from the 2015 2-pack case N, but I could be wrong about this. This case actually includes two brand new 2-packs, of course you know the Lost in the Desert Van and Mini and um, from the uh, 95 Pit Crew series, Pit Crew member Flo, and the brand new release of Hydraulic Lightning Ramon. Now, unfortunately, um, there are plenty of this two pack in the case, and there was like maybe a uh, Juice Heavy Motors here, Easy Idol, and um, like a Sally and Radiator Springs Lane McQueen, but there's only one Lost in the Desert Van and Mini. So I was lucky enough actually to find this on the way back. To the airport, um, I of course went to vacation in Louisiana, and now I am back now. I'm actually recording this the day I get back, and this will hopefully be coming up Saturday. Um, but so yeah, I was uh, mm, I was going back to the airport, and I stopped at this Walmart I looked at on my phone, and so it was very nice. I was very happy. I, f I found this, the other two back, and I found the case of Deluxe with Frank in it, so I purchased Frank and Richard Clay and Kensington. And um, so yeah, they only have one of these cases here unless somebody bought the other one, but I don't think they did. I'm pretty sure they only have one case. But so I was really happy to find this as I wasn't expecting um, to find this as there was only one in a case, so I would assume somebody would already purchase this. But the one thing I want to say um, just before we get started here is that there won't be a suggestion video most likely until Tuesday or Thursday, and the reason I say that because I want to get this video out Saturday, I dropped Lightning Ramon out um, Sunday, and I'm going to check a few stores this weekend, so hopefully if I do find something, I want to get that video out Tuesday, and then um, th there definitely will be a suggestion video out on Thursday though, so that's the latest suggestion video will come out, so I just want to kind of change it up um, for you guys a little bit, I apologize though if you did suggest something and want to get it out, um, but uh, don't worry, as I say in every um, of my videos, every suggest suggestion that you suggest will eventually be made into a vi video, and I apologize if it's taking longer than you uh, hoped, but um, I'm sorry about that, I just got a lot of suggestions and a lot of things I want to review right now, so um, yeah, let's get started here with Lost in the Desert Van Mini from the Radiator Spring series, a series that has been in 2013, 14, and now in 15 as well. So Van is 17 out of 19 in the series, and Mini is 16 out of 19 in the series. Um, very already almost done with the series. I know the only cars that haven't been released yet in the series, I'm pretty sure, are Lizzie and Fillmore, and there might be another one, but I'm pretty sure those are the only ones that haven't appeared in stores yet. Um, but I do need to get the Road Repair Lamb McQueen, so that's what I mean if I find something this weekend, that video will come out Tuesday. Um, or that might even be Sunday, and then the Hydraulic Remote, I don't know, might be on Tuesday. But, uh, so there you go, you guys can see a Lost in the Desert Van and Mini there on the back. Two-pack, and then there's the other two-pack, and two maters. Um, here's the bio for Radiator Springs. Uh, Lightning McQueen slows down to enjoy small town Radiator Springs before heading to the Pistol Cup tiebreaker race. Um, I don't really understand why Lost in the Desert Van and Mini, um, are in the series because they weren't lost in Radiator Springs. They were lost in the middle of the desert, probably far away from Radiator Springs. So, um, I don't know why they were released in the series. I mean, I guess Mattel wanted to release them and they had no better series to put them in. So that makes sense. But, um, I know the regular van may appeared in Radiator Springs, but not the lost in the desert versions. Another kind of laziness on Mattel's part is that they use the regular art bio or the art for um, their art, uh, for the uh, image up here. They got regular van and regular mini. They don't make a special Lost in the Desert art for these, which is kind of unfortunate. I was really hoping they would make a, a special art for that, but uh, I guess they didn't. I was really put on my uh, hope for that like in January when this first appeared over in Europe. So that's pretty much it for the package. I was really happy I found this one. So let's get this out of the package. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so, wow, man, they're making these packages tough for 2015. I think I might have to cut here if I'm not getting the soap out. We got it. There we go. Got it, guys. Uh, see, I usually sometimes tend to cut my video when it takes a little too long to um, open up a package. So, but it looks like this one took a fine amount of time. 
Wow, those look awesome. I am so happy I got these because I remember when I first saw these on eBay and I was super excited um, and I was really hoping I'd get these soon. Um, about like three months later, they finally appeared in the United States stores, I guess. And uh, here we go. Just wanted to mention, I will be trying to get another one of these to keep packaged. Um, I'm not buying a second hydraulic lighting remote, know that. Um, I probably will only get doubles of two packs when they're both new, like this one, and um, some other two packs I probably will get doubles of, like the Replicati Crew Chief, just because that's pretty special. But um, let's get started here with Lost in the Desert Van and Mini. Um, I have my regular van here. We'll start with Van, I guess. And um, there you guys go. You can see a main difference right there. But of course, he's all dirty and dusty from being lost in the desert from for about, you know, I assume they've been lost in the desert for a few days at least if, to be this battered. And, but he is looking really crazy. But uh, he, um, Van and Mini actually did make their way out of the desert because they appeared in Cars 2. And if you guys don't know, they appeared in this version at the um, end credit scene of Cars. I'm pretty sure it was the last scene or something like that. And, um, but they did appear in Cars 2 again, so you know they made it out safely. And, uh, but I really love the eyes on Van, it's just really crazy. It really looks like how he did at the end of the movie. It just looks amazing. He's got that kind of worried expression on his face there, um, according to when he's pretty, uh, happy. And, uh, when he was going through Radiator Springs. Um, very nice. I mean, you could just kind of see how the paint became a lot lighter in the, the dust. I mean, they did an amazing, I can't talk today, an amazing job um, making this look really dusty. They made the wheels all um, brown and the bottom, uh, the base of the car, um, dark brown, or pretty dark brown, it's like mud brown, Corey, um, instead of the black bottom. And so, looks really nice. I love the wheels, looks really nice, and the kind of fading because it's really concentrated up here and it kind of fades back more of course the windows are more dusty and dirty now and um the luggage card up the luggage tray up here is covered in dust and the really big feature about lost in the desert um van is that now his uh luggage is kind of busted open a little bit there and it's got a tumbleweed in there kind of reminds me of tumbleweed lightning mcqueen i don't have that car with me but it's basically lightning mcqueen with a tumbleweed on top and this tumbleweed's a lot more detailed and um had to get them guys i was thinking i have to get the other tumbleweed the tumbleweed lightning mcqueen out to show in comparison but you can see this tumbleweed is not textured at all it's really one solid color but again, this came out in like 2008 or something. Mattel wasn't really, I don't know, they weren't the best with making their models, but I guess they were, they had their pros of back in the day and their cons of back in the day. And so now they have the same current day, but um, now you can see the tumbleweeds all textured and it's got brown mixed in with the green there instead of just having a fresh off the conveyor belt uh, tumbleweed there. This is a little bit better. I like the tumbleweed and of course the Luggage um, cart or the um, luggage is now dirty. And if you guys want to see my video on Van and Mini alone, you guys can check that video out. It was actually a suggestion video. And we can check out the back here. The license plates are the same as to be expected. But you know, some people like Leroy Traffic get new license plate when they when they get um, new colorings or models. But there you go. You got the same license plate 47-M4U. Again, I'm not sure of what reads above it, but it's something stick, I think. Like brew stick or something. A, a bip stick. Dip stick. Oh, it says dip stick. I finally saw it. It says dip stick. I am pretty sure that's what it says. I looked real hard and it looks like my eyes are working for me today. Um, but uh, pretty much the same on the other side as it is on the left side. I really, really like his eyes. I mean, if you guys want, I mean, I'm probably going to show a picture, but you really have to see the movie of the scene where they appear and they just look amazing. I mean, you can really just, um, these eyes match exactly what it looked like. And just before we move on to Mini, I'll show you a few other versions of Van. I have this um, <clears throat> van with sticker, the lenticular version. Um, I could go. I go into a kind of story about this in my van um, and mini video. You can check that out. It'll be in the com um, description below and a card featured video. Um, I also have just a regular um, lenticular van because this is one of the ones that was. Uh, you know, it's a little bit different. The luggage is a little bit different. 
Um, they always change the luggage on these. I don't know why. And they just really changed it on all these. Um, but um, I show that all in my other video on Van and Mini. And here's Van San from Tokyo Mater. Uh, completely different character, but is kind of based off Van, very similar. And uh, let's move on to Mini now. This is the only other version of Mini that has ever been released. And the version of Mini, the regular version, was only released in 2008 in the World of Cars series. And I'm to my understanding was pretty rare but i'm pretty sure i got that car for, for christmas and again i was kind of um out of it back then i didn't really go on any uh, sites or anything didn't really look online to see if it was actually rare or not but uh here we go with a lost in a desert mini um very nice i don't really remember how her eyes looked in the movie because i was just really looking at van but um, i'm pretty sure it does match though and um I really do like um, Mini. This is Mini I like a lot more than the first version of Mini. As you can see, those eyes, Disney Store eyes, Mattel, come on. Um, I don't like those eyes at all. They look really weird. I mean, just her eyebrows. If they added an eyebrow right there, it would have been perfect. But so that's why I like this version of Mini a lot more. Um, the eyes are a lot, you know, it's pained. Looks like she's in pain, kind of tired, of course. And I'm um, just like Van, they got the... Um, brown base and brown wheels and have the dust and dirt going up the sides looking very nice got it on both sides this version looks a little bit different actually yeah see look at look at there there's no brown spot and so there there you guys go there's a brown spot so that might be mine um it also seems a little bit darker on the fender here a little bit darker there let's see oh no that's the same as dark on both sides and let's check out the back license plate. Of course, the windows are also changed. Um, same license plate, SL1-19. And again, it says the same thing uh, um, at, above the license plate as it did on Vans, which I'm pretty sure it says dipstick, um, but I'm not sure again. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Lost in the Desert Van and Mini. I'm a huge fan of these cars. Um, so far, these are my favorite cars released this year, and probably will be some of my favorite cars released. At least, I'm pretty sure this will be my favorite two-pack of the year, um, but probably my favorite overall car of the year will be um, probably one of the RVs that get released, like Larry or Doug. But these um, are definitely up there. I really like these. They look amazing, and it's awesome to get a, um, another version of some of the older cars and get a new um, a new release from the first movie instead of having all these background cars from Cars 2 that nobody knows about. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. Um, if you guys want or desire this car, hopefully you can find it. A lot of people have been finding it at Walmart and Toys R Us, but then again, um, there's only one per case, so you're more likely to find hydro hydraulic lightning or moan than this car, but still, I wish you good luck, and I really got lucky with finding this. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye now.